Hey guys, so today I'm here with a video for you, clearly, um, and it's this nice little like primary colors inspired little thing, um, so yeah, uh, that's pretty fun, um, but real quick before we get into all of that, um, how about a life update? Uh, yeah, so you see I am not in the same filming area as I was like a month ago and I'm also not in the same filming area as I was for like two weeks ago. I am in my new place in Chicago which is pretty sweet. Um, I am doing an internship downtown for a small architecture firm so that's pretty cool that I'm getting to do some like professional work before I actually like you know graduate and stuff. <laughs> So yeah, I'll be here all semester. I'll be here till like almost Christmas time, which is gonna be so cool being in Chicago in like the winter time. I know it'll get cold, but it'll be really cool. And hopefully I'll get to see some Blackhawks games and uh, like, it's gonna be sweet. It's gonna be super cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, so that's what's been going on with me. And yeah, if you wanna see how I got this, nifty little primary colors inspired look just keep on watching okay so uh my face is already cleaned and moisturized so we're just going from here i have got the nivea men's post shave balm this is a sensitive cooling stuff which smells hunky While that sets in, I'm gonna go with this bib this bitch. If you want me, I'm yours tonight. Okay, now that my beauty blender is wet, we're gonna move on to foundation. And I'm still using Tarte's Rainforest of the Sea, no surprises here, in the shade Light Sand. But anyways, so recently I've been doing um, this super cool little hack trick that my friend Sid kind of gave to me. Um, but I take, I take my foundation, put it on the back of my hand like normal, oh my god, I'm almost out. Maybe not. So that's there, see? And then I take this tea tree oil, Hollywood Beauty tea tree oil. I just put like a couple drops in and then I mix that up with my foundation and then it goes on like a beautiful, wonderful, heavenly dream. And then I just apply it <laughs> like normal. And then I just blend it out with my beauty blender. Wait, I forgot. I got a new trick. While I'm doing my nose, because that's where my makeup always tends to fall off, I'll spray my beauty blender with like some setting spray, which right now I'm using the Maybelline Master Fix because I'm tired of the price of Urban Decay. Because I'm, I'm a poor college kid right now. So. Yeah, I've been using this instead, and it's, it's alright, it's pretty alright, but that helps a lot just to keep it on throughout the day, like especially in that area, but you have to make sure you don't use too much or it'll like break apart your foundation because it's so liquidy, so like, I mean just like don't over wet your beauty blender. Okay, on to the next thing. So now I will conceal because I'm breaking out like a big old bitch recently. It's <laughs> terrible. I got a little bit of blow, I know you use and then blend. Now we got under eye conceal and highlight. So I'm using um, the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea in the shade Fair. And 
while you're at it, just get your nose and forehead and keep it bow too. And now since you got that done, you're probably good to set your face. So I'm gonna use my beauty blender to set my T-zone and then a brush to set the rest of it. All right, so now let's go for the eyes. I am, guess what, using my Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion. I'm getting predictable. Why do I even do this anymore? And I'm gonna just brush over that with my leftover powder from my face. And now we're gonna get into the fun part. So I did a Twitter poll the other day um, asking like what kind of look my followers want me to see. I have like, I think there were 23 people that voted in the poll. Thanks. I appreciate it. Every 23 of you. Anyways, um, so the voters decided that they wanted a primary colors look. So I'm going to do what I hope is going to, oh my god, it's going to end up being a primary colors halo eye type thing. I'll be using a lot of this guy, this Sephora Pantone palette, because there's a lot of colors in it. And I will also be using my Venus 2 palette. And I don't know what else, but we'll see. We'll just start with a simple base. I'll go into my, I finally picked this bad boy up, um, and I'll go into this with this really light shade tempera and that'll just go all over the lid so there's our base and I think since um, obviously yellow is gonna be the lightest color and let's look at the primary colors look yellow is gonna be the lightest so I'm gonna go ahead and start out with a yellow color I believe I'm gonna start out with the color mustard. We're gonna start with the color mustard and I'm just gonna put that in like the middle of my eyes or kind of all over the lid, I guess. Now is also the time that I realized I should probably throw in some sort of transition color. So I believe I'm going to use this color, uh, raw sienna. Not raw senna, raw sienna. God, I hate myself. Um, actually, no. We'll start. We'll start with golden ochre and then build that up to raw sienna. So, not raw sienna. Okay, so now I'm going to move to the red, which will be on my inner corner, and I think I'm going to start with just like a a really slightly reddish base. I'm gonna, this is the Sephora and Pantone palette and I'm going to take this guy right here and that's going to be what I start with. Okay. That's like nothing. That's literally nothing. Okay, well, I'm going to do that in this corner too just to even it out, but I'll be moving on to um, this color now. A little bit darker. Okay, so there's a start. Now I'm going back into the Modern Renaissance palette and I'm going to use the color Rear, Re, Real Gar. And I'm going to put that in the inner corner as well. And then you're gonna blend that a little bit. Now I'll be taking the color Red Ochre and doing the same. Now we'll be moving on to some blues. So I'm gonna start with this guy. I know, a little bit ridiculous for an outer corner, but it's a start. It's, a, it's just a start. 
and then just kind of work that into the crease a little bit. I'm gonna go into my Venus 2 palette and I'll use the, this blue color filter and I'll put that in my outer corner as well. So now I'll be going into my Jeffree Star Beauty Killer palette and I'm gonna take the color Vanity and kind of work that into the blue to darken it up a little bit. And then I'm going back into filter again because I feel like blue was lost a little bit, but it's darker, which is what I wanted. Now, blending that into the crease again. And now we're gonna brighten up the yellow again. I'm going back into the Venus palette and I'm gonna use the color mustard and I'm just gonna, you know, put that right in the middle again. Uh, now I'm gonna dip into the color fly just to give that the halo effect, you know. And then slightly softening the edges of that. Now it's eyeliner time. I'm going to create a wing <laughs> with this uh, terrible NYX white liquid liner. Seriously, if you have the option, don't buy this stuff. Like, find a different white liner. I don't know what to buy. Like, it can't point you in the right direction, but this is not the one you're looking for. <clears throat> okay, so now I'm going to actually use a black wing underneath that. So I'm using my Kat Von D tattoo liner. Okay, I lied. It's ridiculously hard to do. Um, like a pen liner over the chunky NYX liner so I'm going this is my uh, Revlon Colors Day skinny liquid liner and I'm going to do the one with that okay now I'm gonna coat my lashes with my benefit roller lash Brow time! I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow in Granite. I've like barely hit pan in this, like you can't tell right now because I keep like pushing the product around so it looks like I didn't hit pan. I am very smart. And then of course, set them with whatever brow gel you please. I have got the Anastasia brow gel in clear and it's magical okay now it's time to chisel those cheeks I'll be using my lunatic cosmetic labs contour book thing yeah. and I'll be using this gray shade here and then also this one I think and just pretend like you don't have a baby face at the ripe age of 20, almost 21. Now that you're chiseled, um, I'm going to stray away for a hot minute from the primary colors thing, but it's still pretty close to the primary colors thing. I'll be going into my Moonchild Glow Kit and instead of using like blue ice or pink heart or something that would basically go with it, I'm going to use Lucky Clover and it's going to look like a child's building block set, you know? Like they always have red, yellow, blue, and green. And that's what we're going to highlight with. Mmm, girl. And then Bridge of Nose and tip of nose. I'm an alien. I'm a lizard girl. Since I go overboard in most aspects of life, I'm gonna take this and just kinda, you know, blend that together, soften it, whatever. And there's that. Finally, we're on to the lips. And guess what color lips I'm doing? It's a freaking primary colors video.
This is um, Milk Makeup in OG Red. I am not kidding you. If you want the best bright red lipstick you can ever find, this is the one. Um, and I'm a chump and I don't use lip liner, so <laughs> we're just gonna go without lip liner today, okay? And of course, you can't forget your setting spray, so drown yourself in it. This isn't it. I forgot I need to add lashes. I'll be using my um, House of Lashes in Feline. Okay, so really conveniently, my camera stopped recording. So since then, I put on my lashes, and right now, I'm highlighting my inner corner with the green again. Um, Lucky Clover from the Moonchild palette, because I think that kind of ties it all together. So, now I'm gonna spray real quick. And here is the finished look. Once I get my bangs all sorted out, there we go. Okay, so. Um, here's some closer looks at it. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned something, I hope, I hope it benefited you in some way. I don't care how. Um, even if it was just for sheer entertainment, that's great. That's fantastic. I appreciate you. Anyways, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you soon.